I think we're at a real tipping point that for a long time, people didn't even know they had to have these conversations. People somehow thought that doctors would make these decisions. And the truth is, of course, that we've come to an era when medical technology has enabled all of us to live longer, um, and it's produced a lot of great things, but it's also meant that the end of life came with decisions we, and choices. Uh, and I think we're just now beginning to recognize that. We did at the Conversation Project, we did a survey that showed that 90% of people think that it's important to have these conversations. Now, let's be serious. 90% of Americans do not agree on anything. They do not agree on the national anthem. <laughs> but they do agree on that. And so uh, only 30% of them, however, have had these conversations. So we're trying to close that gap and have the 30% become the 90%. And uh, one of the real advances that is happening is that Medicare now is, has a proposal out to pay doctors for having these conversations. That's a real game changer uh, because what it's saying to doctors is that anybody who's on Medicare, you don't have to be sick to have these conversations. Anybody who's on Medicare, you come to a certain point that you should identify who your healthcare decision maker is, who make decisions for you if you can't make them for yourself, and also what's important to you at the end of life, what matters, what are your values, um, uh, what kind of healthcare do you want, uh, what kind of treatments do you want, do you not want, where do you want to be at the end of your life, uh, and uh, who do you want to make decisions for you as well. All of these things are hugely important, and we're seeing now coming to that moment when it's going to be routine to start talking about it. Uh, we believe that you have to talk about it with your family, not just with your healthcare provider, because it's really critical for your family to know what your wishes are, your family or your friends, the people who are closest to you, all the people who love you, so that they will feel comforted at the end of your life and not suffer from the kind of guilt and depression that is often routine right now.